a right angle triangle where they will give us the length of the hypotenuse and one of the other sides. So how that will look before we get into our construction, let's just sketch out what we basically want to prove or show is a right angle triangle with a 90 degree. The length of the hypotenuse I'm going to assume in my question is six. So that's the side opposite the 90. Again, depending on your exam question, they will tell you the, the sizes of the two sides. I'm assuming they're six and five centimeters. Again, they'll differ depending on the exam question that you're looking at. So that's what I want to construct. First thing I'm going to do so is to create this baseline of five centimeters. So I'm going to use my ruler now to construct that line segment. So with my ruler and my pencil, I'm going to measure a line of five centimeters starting at zero and going to five. So that's the base of my triangle. I'm going to remove my uh, ruler now and I'm going to mark the coordinates or those points, the end points of that line segment and I'm going to mark them as A and B. So I'm marking those, those coordinates A and B. I've now measured the length of that line and the length of that line is five centimeters so I'm also going to mark that on my image. Okay so that's one thing done, one out of the three. We've got the length of five. Next thing I'm going to focus in on is the 90 degree angle here. You can use a set square to do that. I'm going to use my protractor. So I'm using my protractor here now and I'm setting it at the point A. Again, make sure that the point and the cross on the, on the protractor match up. And I'm going to put a dot um, at 90 degrees on my protractor. So in the green dot here, I'm just going to come around on my protractor and put a dot at 90. I'll remove my protractor and I'm going to connect the point A through that green point. Now it doesn't have to stop at the green point, it's going through the green point because the length of that side of the triangle is irrelevant to us. We don't need to know the length of it. So I'm taking my ruler now again and drawing a line from A through that green point. So sliding my ruler over to the A should go through the green point, which it does. And with my pencil, again, draw my line. Let's just get my ruler right up to the edge to be right. And I'm starting at A and I'm drawing through the green point. Like I said, you don't have to stop at that green point. Removing my ruler now, you can see that I've created that 90 degree. So mark your 90 degree angle on your diagram. My last step now is to construct the length of the side of six centimeters. In order to do this, I'm going to use my uh, ruler and compass. So I'm going to measure a length of six on my compass based on my ruler. So we're looking for a length of six centimeters on my compass. So I'm setting my compass at zero, first of all, and I'm extending my pencil out to six centimeters. And again, always hold the compass at the top when you're creating your arc. So I'm now going to move the nib of my pencil or of my compass to the point B. And I'm basically now going to draw an arc of six centimeters where it crosses this line here now. Okay, so I'm drawing an arc on that line A through the green dot. So I'm drawing my arc and now I have the distance from that point B out to where that arc intersects the blue line. That line is now going to be six centimeters. That will represent my hypotenuse. So you've, re or you've set your compass to six centimeters. I'm going to connect them together now with my ruler once again. So I'm getting moving my compass and I'm going to connect B to that arc. So I'm going through B and it should meet where the arc intersects the blue line, which it does. And I'm going to connect them now with my pencil, starting at B, going to the arc. Again, it doesn't matter if it goes beyond it. This is not a work of art. This is a construction. So you need to show all of your rough work. So your arcs and lines, don't rub them out. And we now mark in the length of our hypotenuse, which is a length of six centimeters. And we are complete. So just to recap, they wanted us to mark in two lengths, a six and a five, which we have, and a right angle triangle. 
Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.